This is Tracy Hart with KHC TV, and we are at the McDonough School in Owings Mills for the Shootout for Soldiers, which is a 24 hour lacrosse tournament that raises funds to support our soldiers for different organizations such as the Wounded Warrior Project. It's a 24 hour lacrosse tournament. We've got clubs, we've got different people, individuals, we've got veterans, we, you name them, they have come in here to support this cause and to play lacrosse for the next 24 hours. I'm Tracy Hart with KHCTV.com. <laughs> What so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleam, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red the bombs bursting in April through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled From the early days of flight to the first step on the moon, man has relied extensively on a small deceleration device known as a parachute. Created initially to save a pilot's life as he jumped from his disabled aircraft, parachuting has through modern aviation technology to become the extreme sport of the 21st century. Morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Specialist Luke Old. It has been my proud honor to fly in our nation's colors. I will describe for you today a demonstration of precision freefall as performed by members of your United States Army Parachute Team, the Golden Knights. And there you have the high flying black and gold of your United States Army Parachute Team, the Golden Knights. So you guys jump from 13,000 feet, and people don't realize that at 13,000 feet, it's a little chilly up there. Yeah, it's uh, about four to seven degrees colder every thousand feet that you go up. So it's hot here on the ground, but it was definitely chilly up there in the air. If you enjoy skydiving, you enjoy the military, this is the best job in the world. I couldn't ask for any other job or any better job out there, so... I've always wanted to join the Army, and then right out of high school, I started skydiving. I actually started working at my local drop zone. After that, I started jumping. Uh, turned out one of my best friend's uncles was on the Golden Knights, told me their mission, and I knew it was something I wanted to do. So I joined the Army and took the risk, and it paid off, and now I'm here. Well, it was amazing. Thank you so much for your service and what you do. This was an amazing landing that you guys did here today. Thank you. Let's play some lacrosse. <laughs> with Paul Rabel as we are watching the shootout for soldiers going on here at McDonough School. So what made you decide to want to be here today? Uh, well, a number of reasons, right? It's supporting our troops, um, using lacrosse as the platform to kind of, uh, you know, be with the community and, and celebrate not only uh, the support of our veterans, but you know, be able to support them through fundraising and, and stuff that we do, stuff that I do for a living. So we have to talk about the fact that there isn't going to be a winner or a loser per se today, that it is a rolling score. 
it's a rolling score. You know, it's it's uh, that's what's brilliant about this event is is uh, you know we have these great causes that we talked about, but it's uh, an an event that's it's unlike any other. It's 24 hours of playing um, nonstop, and uh, there's just two teams and all ages, and the score continues to roll after each game. I think last year the game finished in the 300s, and there was a win. It came down to like 10 goals. It's pretty close when you consider that margin. Um, so it, it's it's pretty cool. Well, thank you again so much for supporting this cause. Thank you. Sergeant Major, why, um, what does it mean for you to be here today? I'm, this is my third year coming out, and every year, every year it grows. And um, it just means so much to me that I have so much support with the community. And uh, for me and the rest of my brothers, troops that have served. So it's, it's very exciting and I'm looking forward to the turnout. Thank you so much for being here at, and serving for us. Very welcome. I'm really excited to be standing here with Calvin Todd. Calvin, thank you so much for being here with me today. Well, thank you for having me. So you drove all the way from New Hampshire to be here today. We did, yeah. Me and my dad drove down last night from New Hampshire. We, uh, we took a part in this last year when I was still stationed at Walter Reed. And it's a great event. It's definitely worth the drive. Uh, you know, growing up in the lacrosse community, everyone's very supportive. It's a tight-knit group. It's one of those kind of niche sports. And uh, same as the military, you know, once you serve your, your friends and, and brothers and everybody for life. So to see those two communities blend and, and playing the veterans game is great. you got guys from 20 years old all the way up to in their 50s. And to see everyone come out and play and have a good time, it's, it's awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here and from driving down to support this event. Thanks for having me. Now, I am standing here really excited with Tyler, who is in charge of the whole thing, who came up with this brainchild. Tyler, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for coming. So we have to talk about one. This is your third annual one that you've done. What made you decide three years ago to put together this event? Yeah, so we would watched a story about veterans coming back um, from service and having a tough time transitioning in society. And we felt like, oh, we wanted to do something. We weren't sure what to do. And we wanted to use lacrosse because it's so big in Baltimore as a platform to help that. And we kind of stumbled upon the idea of a 24-hour lacrosse game to make it fun as well. Well, you guys have raised over 200000 so far, and it's just your third year. So that has to make you feel pretty good. Yeah, we feel great about it. And at the same time, though, we don't stress the fundraising aspect of it. You know, our top two goals are to educate people about what's going on and to engage them with veterans. So they can come meet someone who's served beforehand. And that's like the number two goals. Well, I think, it is, you know, you had the Golden Knights that parachuted in, and then the first game was actually a veterans game, which was pretty amazing. Yeah, that was, it was wonderful to have them out there. It was 50-plus veterans playing from guys in their late 40s to guys in their early 20s. So the event goes on throughout the night. It is a 24-hour lacrosse tournament. Are you going to be getting any sleep, you think? Uh, probably on Friday. <laughs> exactly. So at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning or thereabouts, um, the, that's when the it'll be ending. It'll be a check ceremony as well. Yeah, we'll present the check and everything. Just more of a ceremonial kind of gesture for the check, what we've fundraised. Uh, and it's going to be exciting to kind of have a culmination of 24 hours. <laughs> I'd like to invite the Semper Fi Fund, the Wounded Warrior Project, out here as representatives of this check. Uh, there are two of the organizations, incredible organizations, that we're partnering with this year. Uh, and I'd like to present, um, in collaboration, you guys come over here, um, a check for $175,000.